I have a workspace or a dashboard um, talking about uh, the purchase orders that are coming in. Um, things that are useful out of this are pending receipts by vendor. So things that are coming in, delayed receipts, sometimes um, material handling are tasked with following up on purchase orders that are late. It's not always a buyer function. Um, and uh, and then also the management of returns of stuff going out to a vendor. Um, you can also have here, you know, purchase orders due today, purchase orders due tomorrow, um, because if you have visibility into what work is anticipated, you may need to staff up or staff down, depending on um, the work that's coming in. So when I talk about work, there are two different ways of doing work in D365. <clears throat> There's the basic way, which for those of you that are D365 or AX customers already, that's our inventory control module. And there is advanced, which is the uh, advanced warehousing module. <clears throat> Now these two can coexist for certain tasks and functions. You do not have to be full-blown um, advanced barcoding, advanced warehousing, and you also don't have to be uh, completely limited to the standard inventory control module. Um, <clears throat> but the primary difference between basic and advanced is mobile devices, whether they're iPads, handheld scanners, um, label printers, you know, on your leg kind of stuff, barcoding, which is part of the advanced, um, and data accuracy. The other part of the advanced is put away directives. So we create um, instructions that are automated that when this item or this kind of item comes in from a vendor, this is how we're going to put it away. Um, and uh, it, when stuff is coming off the production floor and it's going into finished goods inventory, this is how I'm going to put it away. So advanced warehousing is uh, much more accurate because it's more uh, scan and go versus typing stuff in. Um, it tends to be faster. There's a lot less uh, material handling, needing to write something down on a purchase order receiving document and then go and input it in the system once they've roamed around the warehouse and figured out where to put stuff. So put away, <clears throat> putting away stuff, and then uh, purchase order receiving. Again, the difference here is um, having some load planning so I can plan my inbound loads, especially if you are bringing in containers um, or you have these large scale UPS deliveries um, that we're gonna want to do some dock management and appointment scheduling so you don't have three trucks sitting out there waiting for you, um, as well as this directed put away that um, the system is giving the material handler instructions on where this needs to go and how do we do it. And again, the advanced is using mobile devices, whereas the basic, the out of the box, standard inventory control, purchase order receiving, um, there is, um, there's no label printing and there's no mobile devices or scanning. So when I compare the two, inventory management is what I've been calling basic, warehouse functionality is what I've been calling advanced, um, there is a host more functionality on the warehousing side, um, especially around um, cycle counting, which is where a lot of people start with implementing advanced warehousing. They'll start with the cycle counting um, for direct material management and uh, planning and reporting, etc. Um, to get away from the paper-based cycle counting or the more manual cycle counting. Um, this is where we start talking about license plates, where I'm starting <coughs> to gather up materials and start putting stuff away. So hopefully that gives you a sort of a, a, a high level overview of the difference between inventory management and warehousing as implemented inside of D365.